Game on Game. Hello everyone and welcome to Game on Game. This is, as you can see, Turtles in Time, one of my favorite games and one of my favorite guests with us. Oh. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Elizabeth from uh, the floating city of Columbia. Yes. Featured in Bioshock Infinite. Um, this is this is awesome that you came to us. Oh, it was my pleasure. You're, you're a pretty important person where you're from. Uh, am I? Yeah, I mean, you're kept in that tower. You just got out of your tower. I know, I'm so thrilled to be loose. <laughs> Booker must not be happy, though. You kind of just opened a tear and came into our world for, for a spell. Oh, he, he won't miss me. <laughs> I think he will. He's supposed to, like, get you and pay his debt. Well, that's true. Um, <laughs> I mean, take you to Paris. You don't know that yet. Yes. Um, <laughs> but you probably figured it out. You're pretty smart. I'm excited to go. You're excited to go, I bet. Well, thank you for taking some time on your busy schedule to play uh, some Turtles in Time. <laughs> it's not really a busy schedule. I was just doing a lot of reading. That's, that's true. Okay. Well, um, we're going to take you on a journey through time. Okay. So Something you... I'm familiar with. <laughs> yes. Once you hit that start button. Okay. And then hit it again. Oh, uh, it's, a... oh, it's one player. Oops. Go back. <laughs> Can you go back? Sir, hit the circle. See what hit happens. Hit the circle. Oh. Oh, no, you just start the game. Oh, actually, no, you, you can do this. Just go in. Just go in the battle. I'm going to join you if I can. Oh, home. okay. I forgot this is old school. Um, well, the future for you, but old school for me. Uh, let's see. I push start? Push start? Push start? Push start? No, but you got to oh. You fight. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. Technology, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I'll be Michelangelo. Okay. Maybe I'll be Michelangelo. I think I got it. Am I gonna be my clinch? Oh, no, I'm there halfway out. Close okay. enough. Do I have buttons? Which, which buttons are my buttons? Elizabeth, uh, I'm gonna let you lead the way. I know okay. you're used to Booker leading the way, but um, I'm gonna need you to do the fighting for me. Okay. This oh, is fun. There's a button. There's a button. There. Okay. I think I got it. There we go. Okay. Now I'm in business. It's nice to take charge. <laughs> I bet, yeah. I've got all these guys tell you what to do all the time, and now it's all you. It's infuriating. I bet. So what do you think of these uh, mutant turtles? They're different, but I've seen stranger. And yes, it's true. You've seen a giant floating bird. Well, that's about all I was seeing for a while. <laughs> that's true. Turns out there's lots more. Oh yes. Um, so what have you? What's most surprised you that you've seen since you've gotten out of your statue prison? I mean, everything's surprising. Everything's so new. That is true. Um, I can't even imagine the kind of world you get to see the vigors. See I know. The powers that people can just have at the touch of a button or palm of their hand, even not even touch a button. They just have it in their hand now. It's amazing, but I mean, since I have the ability to create tears, it's not totally out of the ordinary. That is true. Or out of the realm of possibility. So why, why Paris, I have to ask? Oh. All the places in the world. I've read about it in so many books, and it seems so beautiful with the lovers and lights. Yeah, that's true. New York is pretty cool, too. This is where we are right now in the game. Um, there are not giant robot babies, though, in real New York. <laughs> I'm ah. thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, I would be, too. Or ninjas. There are not really many ninjas in New York, either. Or maybe there are others hiding. I don't know. I was going to say they seem like they would be more <laughs> subversive. That's true. Well, if, you, if you're a ninja out there, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Well, play, I mean, please do if you're a ninja and you enjoy video game-based YouTube channels. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Speaking of... Come I mean, here! <laughs> oh, why are you getting into this? I thought you weren't, uh, weren't my one for the violence. Well, these are bad guys, right? That's true. I mean, I guess you could say that people who are trying to kill you and Booker are also bad guys. That's... More complicated. That's fair. I don't want to grab that pizza. Oh, there you go. Pizza gives you health. Oh. In this game. I was going to say I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, it's kind of like when Booker finds food in the trash can and eats it. Understand. Do you, do you ever question him about that? I have to. <sighs> with Booker, you just have to take a lot with a grain of salt. <laughs> That's fair. It's an interesting travel companion, too. I mean, he's just very he's gruff compared to you. He's, he's a vibrant, you know? And he's, he's Booker. Well, 
He's been through a lot. Yeah, yeah, he has a very, very tragic past. Man. Oh, this is a giant fly we're fighting too, by the way. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> I mean, once again, you have mutant crow people in your world, so I guess this isn't a surprise for you. Although I think I would prefer the crow to the fly. <laughs> Slightly ne less nasty, I got yes. that. Yes. Um, but then again, the fly would probably be less deadly. All he has is a giant handgun that shoots an energy hand at you. A literal handgun. A literal handgun. That's right, I didn't even think of the pun there. Oh no. Handgun. Oh, he caught me in the face. <laughs> Do you ever like have the urge to just use like terrible puns with Booker? His name invites them. You like throw the book at him. <laughs> Can't judge Actually, a book by its cover. I never thought of that, but I should. <laughs> he's like he's one for jokes, but. No, it would probably make him angry. <laughs> what doesn't make him angry? Not much. <clears throat> so you ever given thought to uh, what's going to yeah. happen? You know, once you get to Paris. I suppose I'll figure that out when I get there. Yeah. Just, I just want to see everything. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're going to see a giant fly exploding. And then the turtle say cowabunga. That's, that's about how this works. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> There's a question. There will be a test oh, phew. on the, the, the nuances of Ninja Turtles. There are nuances? There are plenty. I mean, obviously. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> no, I mean, there's plenty of. It's like a, it's like a good knowledge. plenty of symbolism in Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. Okay, no, it's pretty straightforward. You're right. See, the turtles symbolize um, communist Russia. And the ninjas? And the ninjas symbolize um, the, the, I don't know, the government trying to Feudal oppress Japan? them. Feudal Japan? yes. I read about that. <laughs> yeah. Feudal Japan looks like it would be an interesting place. Interesting is to... a loaded word. <laughs> loaded word? I mean, the, the, the culture of Japan is it's very pretty, aesthetically. Oh, no doubt, but I'm saying feudal Japan I don't think would be a good vacation time. <laughs> vacation time. I guess that's something, that, a thought that occurs to you. Yes. It doesn't quite occur to me. I'm kind of just stuck in this one time. Yeah, we're playing turtles in time. <laughs> we're playing turtles in time. Yes, it's, uh, it's always time for turtles. Always time for turtles. Oh my god, that's a good one. I like that. That's the episode title right there, everyone. It's always time for turtles. Elizabeth gets it. Oh. I fell in the hole. <laughs> the cave, the creepy cave. Ew. You know the turtles live <gasps> in the sewer. What's that? Oh, the robots. Oh, robots. You have these in your world. You have little, like, little helicopter gun guys. I just thought we were fighting ninjas and I told giant you. insects. I told you there are nuances. Oh, I stand corrected. <laughs> the robots symbolize... um. Amer the giant machine that is America, as opposed to the capitalists, or the, com the communists that are the turtles. I see. <laughs> turtles 101, everyone. Michael Bay's version is maybe this new one. Do you ever watch a movie? You read a lot of books, I know. Do you ever I... watch any movies? I just prefer to read. <laughs> that way the world and the characters are whatever I make of them. Okay, yeah, so your imagination is always a helpful tool. I actually, movies are kind of a new technology I know. Comstock likes to use them to uh, inform the people of his beliefs. Oh, Comstock. You mean he's your father? Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, Super Pizza. Super Pizza. Pizza doesn't actually do that, in case you're wondering. I'm going to say I'll never eat pizza. I'll be too dizzy. <laughs> I think you can handle it. Ooh, speaking of pizza, some people, some pizza gives you health. Some pizza turns you into a spinning turtle. How do you know which is which? Um, one is conveniently packaged in a bomb box that oh. makes you spin, and the one that just says pizza is just regular pizza and that gives you health. So much nuance. I'm not sure how a bomb relates to spinning. <laughs> Um, well, once again, maybe... I'm just gonna ask you to focus on the giant robot okay. that's about to mangle us. His words, not mine. With his gun chest. I thought it was a monkey. Now, he's supposed to be a turtle, actually. Oh. 
He's supposed to be like a clone of the turtles, but robot instead. I can see where you get the monkey though. Um, I don't imagine, I mean, being in the tower for so long, but have you ever had a pet? Have you ever gotten to keep any pets? I mean, you have Songbird, but that's a little... <sighs> yeah, he's plate. more of a captor. <laughs> uh, I, I had a pet mouse once. I, I fed him some some scraps, and he stayed around for a while, but nothing lasting. I, <laughs> I named him Mousy. <laughs> really? I expected something like Shakespeare or I don't I, know, something very literate. Othello. I thought Oberon. about it. There were too many, too many possibilities. Oh I couldn't choose, so I chose nothing. <laughs> well, next time on Game on Game, we're gonna go uh, sewer surfing. Oh. Are you excited? Yes. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. Find out next time.